set inside uh, Philadelphia's most accurate 7 8 forecast coming up in just a little bit, guys. Mike Masco, I have a question for you. Uh, no? <laughs> would, you uh, would you like to see happy people? Yes, please. With sunshine on their faces, and that could be why they're happy. But more, you know, the reason why they're happy, they're Eagles fans who have flown down on Allegiant Air. With, they even have a sunshine on their plane. Uh, they're going to the Eagles game. Like, well, no wonder there's smiles on their faces. And yeah. it's not raining there. Well, I, that can't be Tampa St. Peter Airport. Wouldn't they have jetways and for the planes? <laughs> what are they, down in St. Martin? What is this? <laughs> No, they're going to the, the game in Tampa, St. Pete. So, okay. Uh, all right, G Cobb, uh, welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here. How are you all doing? Yeah. You're speaking of this uh, Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolom Jenkins. Oh, thing. So I said, you know what? I'm going to kick some bow ties. Yeah, it looks good. good. Okay, the fans are there. Uh, Nick Foles is our starter. We know that. Can yes. you give us an injury report? Who is Nick going to be handing off to? Well, he's probably not going to be handing the ball to Darren Sproles. Oh, no. uh, he missed practice yesterday. He's got a hamstring. Uh, problem. Uh, also, Shelton Gibson, who is a return guy. Yeah. So both of these guys are return guys. You know, uh, you have Darren does the punt returns, and Shelton does the kickoff returns. So you're probably going to wind up with Corey Clement doing those jobs for them. Okay. Because I don't know if those guys are going to play. It's kind of iffy, you know, but I don't think they're going to play. From, a, from not being an a, a NFL player, to doing it all now and winning the Super Bowl, Corey Clement has the best. That's what I'm saying. We're in good yeah. hands, though. I'm not worried about Corey stepping in. Yeah, he is solid. You know, that's the big thing. Is he doesn't make a lot of mistakes for a young guy, especially. So and he's I, from our area. Of he's yeah. from our area, and but the thing is, you don't want that to take away from what he does as a running back. Well, it's true. Oh, so right. you know, you don't have Darren there. If you don't have him there, you're gonna need more out of Corey. So they're gonna put a lot on Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi's got to have a great game because I think they're going to try to run the ball on Tampa Bay. Uh, they want to control the clock because Tampa Bay's offense, man, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I don't even know if that was the real Ryan Fitzpatrick. It was an anomaly. Play anomaly. Yeah. Anomaly. Yeah. Let's hope. He, he normally plays poorly after he plays a good game. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to get maybe the, the poor Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick. What about Alshon Jeffrey? Is he going to be back? Uh, Alshon's not going to be back. Oh, no. come on. He, he is practicing, though. So we're okay. getting closer to him getting back on the field. But I, he won't practice. He won't, I mean, he won't play this week. What about our ex-Eagle friend, Deshaun Jackson? Now, that's, that could be a problem. Deshaun is probably going to play. He practiced really? yesterday. Yeah. Mm. He had a great game, of course, against the Saints. And Deshaun has had good games against the Eagles ever since he left. Watch his head here, though, when he gets out. Oh. Ouch. Touchdown. Oh. Yeah. Concussion. Yeah, he did have a concussion after the game, but he practiced yesterday, and his speed is the kind of thing where he could do nothing the whole game but just one play. I know. Well, he's gone, and, you know, it could be 90 yards and it's a touchdown. And you know he's thinking up some dances for the end zone. <laughs> yeah. We can't let him in the end zone. No. We don't want to see him dance. No, because he might try to dance five minutes if he were to get in the end zone. You know, that's he strong. has certainly burned us in the past. But again, this Ryan Fitzpatrick, is he in his 30, upper 30s? He's in his upper 30s. He's been a backup quarterback. He's been a starter. He's never really been a successful starter. This might have been the best game of his life. Uh, it probably was the best game of his career. Yeah. Maybe of his life. And But the thing is, you cannot let him get going. I think early in the game, we got to get to him. The defensive line will be the key. And Fletcher Cox said they were kind of getting fired up looking at him throw that ball. So they're going to make sure they get to him. Don't give him a lot of time. Who's going to be on Deshaun? Is it Darby? Darby is probably the best matchup for him, but a lot of times the Eagles don't switch side to side, so wow. they might try to get him matched up against, uh, you know, Jalen Mills, who's not as fast as as Darby. Um, if if so, the safety's got to make sure he's thinking that way because you got to get help wherever Deshaun is. You got to know where he's right. lined up. It's that time of day. Gee, you no. got the pick. You got it in your arm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just give me your give me your final score. Uh, I'm gonna say 27 to 23. Mm. I'm picking the birds. Yeah, it's, got, okay. but it's, it's gonna be close though, and you know you're gonna be sitting there checking this thing out. The fourth quarter, it's probably still gonna be very close and in doubt. I could use a blowout. Close out. game. I, I don't think it's gonna be a blowout. Uh, Twenty-seven, okay. twenty-three. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank Good deal. You. Hopefully, we're talking about a win. Oh, uh, let's hope. Are you constantly fighting with your partner? Turns out the constant fighting could be 